Winston and Donna rolling with the halls. We're in the beautiful country of Turkey. That's yes, right, Turkey. Alanya, Turkey, and it is beautiful. Let's take a spin we around. Have been, yeah, like we're right at the port. So they have these like cool pirate ships and the they take you out on tours. And we went up the mountain today to the castle, Alanya Castle, which was awesome. And now we're just exploring the little downtown area and it is amazing. Yes, and we're gonna take a lot of video today yes. and narrate a little bit about what we're experiencing and tell you all about this beautiful country of Turkey. And maybe one day you'll come here. You should be here. Let's go Rolling check it out. With the here we go up the side of the mountain to Alanya Castle. Now what Donna and I were not expecting were these crazy roads. These hairpin turns were unbelievable and they didn't seem to phase this driver at all, but I was really nervous. Now these drivers do this multiple times every day, so they probably didn't need applause. But This driver told um, us, or through the translator, that he has been doing the driving buses since he was 14 years old. <laughs> Another crazy hairpin turn. <laughs> but you know what, all of this crazy trip was rewarded because as we got higher, and higher and higher up the hill, the views just got better and better and better. It was interesting to see it from up top because I had no idea how big this city was. Now keep in mind these roads are old, old, old roads. They weren't made for buses, obviously. And we, as you can see, another. This one was a tunnel. Barely squeezed a like tunnel. Like if that glass yeah. wouldn't have been there, I felt like I could have just touched that wall. It was so close to us. But you know what? We were rewarded because look at the view. Amazing. This is the view. Now the castle of Alanya was built, I want to say the 13th century. Or I think 1400 BC, they told us the original one was built then. And then over the years, different empires took over. This structure came about 1200 or so. And as you can see the view from the bottom. Now the castle has some really interesting stories. One of which is that to execute people, they would yeah, simply it was called executioner's point. They would simply fling people off the side of the hill into the Mediterranean below. Yes, they they acted like it was some kind of a um, like a fulcrum system. They would put the person on it and then wait down the other side and just like catapult them over the side. Super easy to get around. There are bathrooms up there, but you have to pay. So keep that in mind. I think it's like one euro. On the way down. As on the way up, you get to see a lot of the villas that surround the castle. Now, when in the old days, when they built the castle wall, these villas were included. So there's a lot to see there. A lot there's of our restaurants. ship. That was our ship. We could see from the top the Oosterdam from now, Holland, America. Yes, and you see all these pirate ships down there. That's because this was a haven for pirates forever and ever. So they really play on the pirate theme. And down there in the bottom left corner is the Red Tower. Yes, and we're going to stop there. Which is still part of Alanya Castle, but it's closer down to the dock. Yes, and we'll stop there later on our tour. Now, going down as coming up, more hairpin turns. We just couldn't believe that this is the only way up and down this mountain, and these tour buses do it like, I mean, multiple times every hour. It's crazy. Now, these are the gardens at the Museum of Alanya. We stopped here very briefly, we didn't have a lot of time, but they were beautiful gardens. And there we are, and they gave us some ideas to try to implement in our own garden here back home. Yes, yeah, so and you could definitely spend several hours here, but we unfortunately didn't get to spend as much. But we got a taste of it, and we know we would want to go back. Yes, and Alanya is a big tourist capital for Europeans coming to the beach, and the beach is right there just out of sight, and we saw a lot of tourists moving around this area. <laughs> This was interesting. This was our trek down to the shipyards. And trust me when I say they did not tell us how hard it was gonna to be to get down there. But it was amazing. The shipyard is under the cliffs and they used to build ships in here and then be able to like just put them right out into the harbor. Yes, and we learned by the way that the castle when it was built was to kind of protect the shipyard. Yes, that's what they did. And told the us. harbor. So there's a lot of history in these walls and you kind of 
forget that as you're walking around that, hey, these walls are really, really old and tell a lot of stories. Cool juxtaposition between the ancient and the modern right there with our ship, the Holland America. Ulsterdam, as our captain would say. Yeah, and this was just amazing. I, I really couldn't stop looking at all of these stone walls and just wondering about all the history that took place in there many, many, many years ago. Keep in mind that that shipyard is a long walk. We had a couple people in our tour that had to turn back yes. because of the stress of walking there. But if you're able, it's a cool walk. And as you can see from that walk, the water's right there. It was a little cold. We Beautiful never went swimming. Beautiful beach, though, and I don't think I'll ever get used to the color of the water in the Mediterranean. I mean, it just takes your breath away. Now, this is the tower you saw earlier in the video. The we, red tower. The red tower, and we went inside where our guide shared with us a lot of the history. Wow. This is... Oh, Donna, what do you think? Huh? What do you think? Nice and cool in here. And I ran up real quick to the top to get some video and I was out of breath because it's nothing but stairs to get up there and nothing yeah, but stairs Yeah, they told us, I think like 255 stairs and I had a broken toe from the prior injury on the cruise ship, so I didn't go up. But Winston took video so I could feel like I was up there. And these stairs are tiny. They were half the size of my feet and so every step was uh, impending doom. I had when he fun got time. to the top, he was rewarded for all of those steps because yes. it was a great view. All right, we're here at this place. It's called Kirk. I don't know. I don't run Turkish ice cream. We're having Turkish sand coffee, which we just learned it's not made from sand, they cook it in the sand. <laughs> Here we are, Winston. What are you getting ready to have? Turkish coffee. But in Turkey, it's just coffee. That's right. That's right. And look at this. Can you sit at this cute little table? And this lovely lady is making it for us. Try how you put for Because it has special metal. Special metal? Yeah. Okay. Because you know something? Everything is about this foam. The most important thing in Turkish coffee is this foam. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This foam. The foam. <laughs> the foam is everything in Turkish coffee. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this coffee and special like um, blend. It's also sort of like, blend. Uh -huh. you know, normally we put one hundred percent ninety percent Turkish coffee and five percent it's like mixed coffee. Okay. Our coffee is special. It came from Istanbul. In oh, there is okay. only one place make this coffee. If you go to Istanbul, you must visit and take coffee from. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. It's so, what is this? Just <laughs> this is water. Just uh, after you drink uh, before uh, before you take coffee, you take soup of water. Every time. In order to clean your mouth, it's like preparing uh, your cleanse oh. the palate. Yeah. yeah. Wait, before every drink or just the no, first one? No, not. <laughs> Only one switch before. Okay. And then I can put the rest coffee. of it. Yeah. Okay. So and the rest of water you take it after coffee. It's yes. so pretty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's cleansing his palate. Here we go. Okay. Turkish coffee. So Turkish coffee. In Turkey. It's very strong. And look. You have the cleansing palette, and then she cooked it in this little pot. And then those are little sweets for after. That is so cute. I love it. <laughs> it's so great. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Now, after enjoying coffee, we made our way back to the harbor to kill a couple hours. And there's lots to do down here. It's very beautiful. Those are the colors of the Turkish flag, red and white. And we got a close-up view of some of these pirate ships, but they actually turned out to be just party ships. Yeah, and I think that they were selling tours on these and you could go out for like an hour or two. We didn't go on that, but I'm guessing it's more like a drinking party cruise. But it still does kind of bring the pirate right. history to life. Right, and I think people like to get the experience of going out on them. Now, if you don't want to go off on all these tours like we did, you can certainly hang out here all day. There's food, uh, things to eat and drink, hang tours, out. Tours, shops. Tours, shops, music, just all kinds of fun stuff. Now, our time in Alanya was short. Uh, we had to hop on the ship in the mid-afternoon, 
but we really enjoyed our time and we hopefully did. we'll get to go back one of these days. So until next time, Alanya, thanks for all the memories. We highly encourage you to visit there if you ever get the chance. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a like for more.